Here is a project that we're going to highlight, and it is, uh, we have the, cus we have, where's Scott? Scott and Jennifer. They're, they're back there. So this is Mojo Development in Washington, North Carolina. And Scott has been uh, looking at extreme panels. Uh, he was a build show, is how he got in, into us. And uh, we started talking. We, we met each other at an IBS show. And he said, hey, I'm going to be building a house. I'm very interested. And he gives me this plan. It actually started out a little bit different because it only had one dormer on it centered before or was I don't remember if it's centered or not but anyway he gives me this plan and uh, I'm looking at it and thinking what can we do here to I want to go back one more time just notice this all this area okay everything you got this whole thing it's just so much space and these were fake dormers they're not looking in them. They're not going to be up there. He was just going to literally hand frame this roof like y'all do in the South, right? Y'all frame. <laughs> and it's really crazy to me because we're always used to pre-manufactured trusses. That's just what happens up north. But we see it all more and more. And we're seeing more and more plans like that. So anyway, we get looking at this and we're like, wow, he's just really wanting to insulate here, you know? But all this area, it's crazy to us that we're not looking at that. So we look at the plan, and I, I called him, and he reminded me. And he said, hey, you told me, put it, where can you put a stairway in? So he ended up putting a stairway. You did it back here, right? Yeah. So he did it in bedroom three, made it an office and a den with a stairway in it. The original plan is 1,299 square feet of main level with a front and a rear porch, which adds up to a total of 1645 with everything done. And then the square foot of unheated is 346 square feet. So I want you to keep in mind this rear porch of 193 and this basic number here. So really that 1,299 square feet. Here is all this hand framing. And it's really interesting to me how this gets drawn and designed this way. But it does, and you, it's, he's going to frame it that way, right? And then the engineer made it even more complicated. The engineer made it more complicated. Not Tom. Tom wouldn't do that. No, not Tom. <laughs> but his, Sorry, Tom. the stick frame engineer that Tom was using, yeah, and added a bunch of beams in, added, you needed to have 28-foot 2x10s, right? So 28-foot 2x10s. Imagine how straight those and great are, those are going to be, right? <laughs> 28 foot 2 by 10s. You're cutting the whole tree. I mean, okay, so, because this is 28 feet long here. 28 feet long. Oh. So, notice there is a little bump out on this side with a, a little porch here, but you got just all this cool space. So, this is actually what happened. We go in and we had a main ridge beam. And then we ended up bringing a, another beam down here because, first of all, this 28-foot run, that's a long ways, Tom, isn't it, for a panel? We don't like 28 feet. So we had to split that beam at a spot right in here, and we ended up with a span of like 16 or 17 feet here. But in where we're building, we could make it happen. We did it. And then we put another beam up here as a mid-beam in the front, and it created all of this usable space. So I want to note, this is a 20, 20 foot panel here, and this is a seven and almost eight foot panel. We put them together on the ground and did a 28 foot lift, eight by 28 for each one. And we eliminated a guy on the roof, basically because we prepped everything on the ground. Every panel screw was in, everything was done, and Scott didn't realize how, hall, how tall this thing was going to be until we were up there. Did you? He didn't. It was really quite fun. And showing, showing these guys, you know, we have a crew. I'm going to paint the picture again. Scott's a framer. He knows what he's doing. He's got a buddy, good framer. They, they know what they're doing. But his son of 23 years old is not a, not a construction worker. And Jerry, uh, uh, 
<laughs> I called him Jerry all week. I don't know why. <laughs> called him Jerry every time. Jerry was running the lift. Jerry, what are you doing? I have no idea why I called him Jerry. But I did it 200 times and <laughs> laughed about it. I re- he was getting pretty mad. <laughs> um, but it's, it's just creating things. There's a 28-foot panel that we made. And Jerry has worked on bridges in New York. <laughs> So Jerry's a safety guy, and everything was turtle mode, and it's just crazy. We're, we're going, Jerry's safe. So you know nothing's going to go wrong with Jerry running that lift. It was really fun. I know I am. I loved it. He will always be Jerry to me. But here you can have, here you can see up here that we have that vapor tape stuck on the beams. Not stuck on the beams. It's actually just laying there. But it's ready for after this gets set, Scott will go up there and he peels the tape off and puts it up there. So we have no moisture going through these joints at all. It's really a great product. But I just love the visual of this and seeing how open that is in there. It's just big pieces. Really nice, right? Well, here's after he framed up the floor and framed up the inside looking out to both of those dormers, the one's open to below, and the one is up in, what is that, a bedroom or a? It's a future bedroom. It'll be a future bedroom. But basically, you got 700 square feet of free real estate, right? With the same exact print. And what a cool building now. I mean, it's a game changer. So just. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. What's the longest panel length? We a twenty-four footer in one piece, but in that case, we added that on. And the way we did the spline, you you don't put the joint right at that area, but it worked out really well. That that panel was rigid when it was in the air. So there's just cool things that we could do. And then so we get the whole back roof set, and we're like, oh Scott, you got to add the posts in, man. So we ended up doing the posts. We had to take a little time. But it was just a real fun experience. And, you know, Scott being a new client, and he's so excited about what this did for his business. And uh, since then, he can, I can, if, I want you to talk to him later. He has three people, three clients right near him that want him to build their house. Just because they watched this four day experience, five day experience. And they're all just like, wow, change it. His realtor is even excited. He walked in and said, don't do a thing. Leave that footprint the same because you're going to max out what you can get for this thing. If you go any bigger, you're not going to be in the right price range. So stay where you're at. Leave the design. And this was Jerry, (laughs) Alan. There's Alan. Yeah, it was just really a lot of fun. This, we built this house. That was after day four. And they finished day five with both dormers. And we put this whole thing together and never trimmed a panel. Not one. Everything fit. It was ridiculously fun. And does that happen all the time? No. But it sure as heck, it it happens a lot more. And uh, it's just because his foundation was perfect. Scott laid the plates. He knew exactly what he was doing. And that's what quality craftsmanship will end up with. A great product so it was really it was just great I just you know a lot of fun so what did we learn took a 1299 square foot main level turned it into 1499 we took the rear porch and we put the back wall all the way back and they are really happy they did so they moved that that back wall put a bank of windows in they actually had a kitchen wall they actually had plumbing in it they took the wall out didn't you yep. they moved he realized that once he saw that, that plan, just like what we walked in down here, that he's got an open slate. He can kind of do whatever the heck he wants in there. And they changed their floor plan just a little bit by modifying that and having it open. So um, the SIPT optimization gained that 700 square feet of usable second story with that bedroom and the third bathroom, bonus playroom, whatever you want to call it. The package was 68K, traditional package, about 42,000. SIP time frame is first job, five days, four guys, no trimming of panels. Construction time, 
construction time would have over doubled if it was conventional. The manual J calculations, 65,000 compared to 27,000 for the BTU load. So that's pretty cool. So Scott, thank you. We appreciate that. Scott, um, you know, he's, he's new, but I feel like I've known him for 20 years. We, you just, when you're on a job site with people, you become, it's crazy what happens. And it's, uh, it's why we become tight as if, we have builders up here that are, they're, they work against each other, right? But they all work together because we all know that when we work as a team, things are gonna happen for everyone. And that's, it's just amazing what happens when we, you become part of this network. Things just change and it's gonna make, now Scott's gonna redesign his next one and it's gonna be even better than the first. And he's, you already bought the lot right next to you, right? Uh, down the street just a little bit. Let's yeah, see yeah. And then three people that are completely interested. And then we have another job that's gonna get signed up in uh, South Carolina. He's gonna go set it for